Hi guys, so I'm going to talk about how to write data into an Excel sheet. The steps to write data into Excel are not very different from those to read data. I've covered how to read data from Excel in my previous video and I'm going to add a link to that video in the description below. But to make it a little more interesting here, I'm going to have two different classes. One will perform some data functions, the other will send the data to the Excel sheet. So I've created a Maven project here and added all the dependencies in the perm.xml file. Just in case you don't have a Maven project, you need to import a few jars. So these are the dependencies I've added. The Selenium dependency, test ng dependency, Apache POI dependency, and Apache POI OOXML dependency. You can fetch the code for all these dependencies from the MVN repository link. And I'm going to add the URL in the description below. So let's get started. I'm going to create a method called right, test. So this method will basically contain the code to write data into an Excel sheet. And this method can be reused uh, in the sense that you can be sending data from different classes into this method and then this method in turn will write the data into an Excel sheet. Um, basically code reuse because uh, you don't want to end up using the same code a zillion times. Now the first four lines of code here are going to be the same as uh, written in the read Excel test example. I'm just going to copy paste it here. I'm quickly going to go over it again. So we are creating an object of the class file and we are passing our Excel sheet location here. Then we're creating an object of the class file input stream. This is a java.io class which uh, is responsible for loading data byte by byte. It's throwing us an error. Let's see what it is. Let's add the throws declaration and let's just go for the generic exception which handles all the various kinds of exceptions. Oh. Now we're going to create an object of the class XSSF workbook which is a Apache POI class. What this does is it basically loads the entire workbook for us and then what the XSSF sheet does is it loads the specific sheet in the workbook. So here we are looking at the first sheet in the workbook. Now let's see how to write data into the workbook. So using this object, I'm going to use the method get row number. And then I'm going to specify the row in which I want to write data. Similarly, I'm going to specify the column in which I want to write data. And then I'm finally going to set the value. And then finally, I'm going to set the value of the cell. And then finally, I'm going to set the cell value with the data that I want to pass. It's going to be a string value right there. So we will get this value from the other class. We are passing data from a method in another class into this method. And let's name it name receive and I'm gonna pass this 
value to the Excel sheet. Now just like the file input stream, we have to define another class called file output stream. This is also a java.io class responsible for writing data. And the location of the file is the same as defined in the file input stream, which is this path here. Let's import this class. Now let's see how to write data. So now we want to write the value in our Excel. So let's write what's the value we want to pass. This right here. And in the end, always remember to close your Excel workbook. There we go. Now let's go to the other class and get user imported data to pass into this method. So let's create a method name it Excel data. So what we're trying to do here is get user input. So let's define an object of the class scanner. And let's import this class. This is a Java non-util class. Now you're prompting the user to enter some data. So say enter name. And we want to store this data in a string. Let's name that string name. And what this will do is basically prompt the user to enter a name in the console window. And then we want to pass that name onto the right example test class. So let's create an object of the right example test class. Now we want to call a specific method in this class. So we're going to use this object here and call the right test method in that class that we've just created. Now we want to pass the name value into that method there. So we're going to select name here. It's asking me to add throws declaration. So basically uh, exception handling in case we have any exceptions we are good to go but before that i'm running this as a test ng project so i'm going to add the at the rate test annotation here but you can also run it as a normal java project and it should work fine let me import the test annotation there we go so now let's run this as a test ng test and see the results Let's enter a name. There we have one pass zero failures. Now let's open up the Excel file and see if the data is written in the correct location. There we see the data is written in the second row and the second column. Let's go ahead and verify this. So we've written the data in the first sheet in the second row and the second column. Thank you.